Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing the Timothy Jimothy goalie be a pro after being unfortunately deleted from the playoffs once again. Now I'm making this video before you guys even find out that I'm playing for Edmonton, but I'm gonna go ahead and ask for a trade. That's right, you heard it here first. Simply for the reason that I played with Edmonton in the 22 be a pro, the second one, because I did two goalie be a pros on NHL 22, and I want to give somebody else's team or some other people's team a shot so it would have been fun playing for Edmonton don't get me wrong but we already did that been there it's time to try a different squad so I'm gonna go ahead and request a trade hopefully they don't give me the stiff arm and say uh uh you're staying right here Timothy you wanted to chat about something I sure did I want to be traded to another team Really? I'm gonna ask again. So I guess for you Euler fans, you might as well enjoy it while you can, because I'm stuck here temporarily. And is there one for persuasion? Charm persuasion attempt, so that's specifically... Hmm, maybe not. Well, anyway, our first game was a bit of a stinker. We went with a 285 GAA, which isn't horrible, but an 892 save percentage. We did get a dub, so that's nice, but the other stats... Not very pretty. So let's hope that we can improve that. And if I remember correctly, we want to simulate about like 27, 28 games so that we finish the season in three parts. I'm going to sim right up to this game now and we better be in for it. I got to go against my former squad and hopefully things work out. There's a big dub. Nice. All right. Three and two. Not horrible. Please let me be a net against the Golden Knights. We have a conversation here with our agent. What is up? Good sir. What do you want from me this time? You want me to be the face of your new energy bars, eh? Wow, that's crazy. Uh, sure. I mean, wait, no. Is that saying no? Can't say I'm a huge fan of the product, but nobody needs to know that. <laughs> wow, that is a brutal answer. I don't see the difference between this one and this one. But I'm gonna try it anyway. Persuasion! Ah, oh, come on. How did my brand go down 375 when I just got made the new face of an energy bar. Is this game smart enough to know that this is my former team? Yeah, you're playing your old team. Nice. I am gonna give the star answer. I'm not even gonna read it. Okay, fine, I'll read it. Of course I have, I've been waiting for an opportunity to show them what they made a mistake. I can't read. All right, let's uh, let's run it back here, you know? Need to, uh, clearly I just needed a little reading warm up. Of course I have. I've been waiting for an opportunity to show them why they made a mistake giving up on me. Technically, they didn't, because they did offer a contract, and we said no. But, but, we're not going to talk about that part. Doesn't matter if we win or lose, kind of does. I want to show them what they lost. Fair enough. How do you plan on making them pay? Well, I'm not going to act out, because that is just outrageous. I will try to make a promise, though. I won't allow us to lose, so we have to win. I love how he went for- what is he doing? Is dude getting like in the boxing ring or he's like putting his anyway they are two three and oh we are three two and oh simulate the first two periods and find out if this game i'm jumping in no matter what but oh my word they have thatcher demko in net and he just got lit up second period maybe i ah uh, there is something in this for me actually and it is on the screen right there it's a zero it's safe to say that we have completed the promise we're gonna take a dub here. There is no way I give up six goals in this third period. That is physically impossible. Oh, glad to see they have Alex Petrangelo back. That would have been sick. So they have Nate, Max, Stone still. It looks like that first line is completely intact. They have Petrangelo playing with Gavrikov. I feel like he was playing with someone else, but I don't remember the name. Was it Letty? What a shot. Let's go. I, I started celebrating before it even went in. I just knew that... Tendy did not stand a chance. It's six nothing. What an absolute beatdown! I couldn't have. Maybe I will stay in Edmonton after this. They just did me a massive favor against the former squad. Boom. Demko didn't stand a chance. Let's proceed. Oh, they picked up Verhage. They still got White Cloud and William Carlson. That's a big save. That's a big save on Vicky. He's still there as well. So they've made some minor moves, but. Nothing too big other than losing their starting goalie, which again, is not their fault. And I have now just noticed that it is no longer Thatcher in the net. He got pulled. Carell is the backup still. 
And he's getting some minutes in this one. How long do I have to wait before asking for a trade again? I know, I'm sorry. I have to leave. We can't just always play for one team. We are all over this team right now. Like, I'm just mesmerized by the passing and the sheer domination that is commencing on my screen at this moment in time. The fact that we didn't score there is miraculous. Seems like the Golden Knights are already in peak playoff form. Getting dominated. Left, right, and center. Oh yeah, there it is. And, oh, this could be a good time, actually. I am gonna go for the goalie goal. Simply because it's already out of control. Oh, that was a miss and a half if I've ever seen one. Also, I feel like they made the shot a lot weaker. Because that went nowhere. Nice try, Stone. But I doubt it. Ooh. No thanks. I'm not giving it up like that. If I do get scored on in this third period, it is not going to be from me playing the puck when I shouldn't have. I will smarten up this time and this time only. Game 7 of a Stanley Cup playoff series? I'll pass it out. Playing against my former team with a goose egg on the line? No chance. Nate Mack took a penalty now. So we are on the man advantage once again. Advantage? I feel like I pronounced that very weird. Regardless, we have the power play, but only for 30 seconds more did we just take one to even it out. Was that slashing on us or on them? No, it's on Ben. Get in the sin bin, Ben. Five on three for 25 seconds. And then we will go to a five on four. They aren't sending the puck down the ice. I guess they think they have a chance here, which is shocking to me. At this point, you would think the primary goal is to just stop the bleeding. So that would be... Get to the basics, you're on the PK, just send the puck down the ice, kind of lock it down. But no, apparently not. And it's probably out of pettiness that I'm currently sat here with no goal scored on me. And I'm also their former teammate. They did manage to kill off the 5-on-3 and... I slid too far, but it doesn't matter because our defense was all over them. The 5-on-4. I think I said 5-on-3 and then 5-on-4, right? Just making sure I didn't double down there. We've also hit the two-minute warning. So we're coming down to the very end of this game. And our team is doing a great job of stopping them from getting chances. They want this from me, I can tell. So, Edmonton, although I do want out of here, just know that I appreciate you. That was a big hit. And now here... No, don't you dare. Imagine... They drop my player like a two-foot putt. And then they come in to ruin the shutout. That would be disgraceful. Nice try, Asplund. That's it. That's all she wrote. It is a shutout against the former squad. Love that. A 28-save shutout, nonetheless. Might earn me first star. It's hard to say because we did have six goals. But you better believe I'm sticking around to find out. I was not... Oh, come on. Fine, we'll take it. Second star is all good. Those stats are more like it. 178 GAA? Out of control. Yeah, I know. Promise success. It's just kind of what I do. They also said the narrative around this trade continues to evolve. What trade are we talking about here? Because I don't recall there being a trade of any kind. No transactions here other than me signing a contract. That's two games in a row that they did not start me. Who's the other goalie? Is it still that 60 overall individual? I'm gonna go find out. Yup. It's Thomas, all right. What do his stats look like? Yeah, wow, a 9-10. And he is 1-1-1. One, one, and one. All right, Thomas, I see you. Stanley Cup 2008, 2007 rematch. Anyway, first period, 1-0 for the jerks. Second period, it's a 2-1 hockey game. Let's jump in there and see if we can mount a third period comeback. All right, Jamothi, let's shut it down here and hope that our team can generate some offense. And the way I've seen them play, I know that they can. So we both just got to do our job here. And I think we can sneak out with a dub. Taking a penalty, not the most ideal way to start this period. But you know what? Maybe we'll kill it off, get some sick momentum from killing it, and then we'll be ready to go. Maybe that's his strategy. I feel like that's another glitch in this game. I feel like I should have had that. But the hole not being pulled when the team is down by one or two goals, a couple minutes left in the third period, is one glitch. I feel like there's another one where players refuse to ice the puck. 
Our player had it after the draw. 100% could have sent it down the ice and decided, nope, I'm going to skate this thing into the boards instead. They took it from him, and here we are, now down by two. This has been a very uneventful game, other than their goal. That's the first shot I've seen since their goal, I think. Other than that, this has consisted of entering the zone, having the puck taken off of you. At least we got a big hit. May not have been our team dishing out the big hit, but we were certainly a part of it. Sveshnikov gets a clean zone entry, send that over to Alexiev, who finds Alexei. Carries it in. Come on, 1-4. I like it. Nice! What a save by you see what I see. Radish goes to Schmaltz. Nice try. But that will be kicked aside by Timothy Jimothy. And now the Oilers headed back the other way once more. I don't think that was the move. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Just say that they were out there for a long time. Mans was gassed and decided I'm going to send this puck in. And once again, living up to the... Mid-period interviews. Saros is just having himself a game. We've had a few good chances and he's denied all of them. We're throwing everything we have. And it's just simply not enough for you see what I see. Nice. Oh, I thought he was going to have that rebound. And it would have cut it down to a one-goal game. But nope. We are still here. Down by two. And less than a minute to go. It's not looking good in this contest. Yeah, this game's as good as done. We just took a penalty. There's 20 seconds to go. And we need to average a goal every 10 seconds. Simply just out of the cards. A 3-1 defeat at the hands of the Jerks. How many shots do they have? Only 27. Not great from TJ. Not good at all. Our former arch nemesis, the Seattle Kraken. I'm going to go ahead and just sim straight through this game. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, it's a close one. E 2-1, 4-1. Brutal. Conversation with a fan. Oh, he's gonna chirp me, isn't he? Let's see. Jimothy, oh, never mind. It's the exact opposite. Thank you. What a legend. I think I've got a game plan here. So we've played 10 games. I'm gonna simulate a bunch more and hope that we can request a trade and play one game for our new team, assuming the coach finally says yes in this video. So we actually kind of suck. Our record... The last few games are exactly the type we need from you. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I had to maintain a 930 over the next five games. Thought that would be impossible. But apparently not. Here we are getting a bunch of stat boosts. We have to be 90 overall now. There's no way. Oh, and we got... Okay, bring me right to that skill tree. I'm going to try to bump up our persuasion ability. I once again have no idea if that has any impact on our... Ability to convince the coach to trade us, our GM to trade us. What's up, sir? How can I help you this time? Is there another food brand? How does your own limited edition hockey card sound? Sounds pretty fire, I can't lie. This is a big honor. The reason it's taken this long is because only a select few players get the opportunity. Well, I'm gonna try to persuade. Oh, no, agent follow-up, come on. Apparently that dub against the Rangers was my 100th, so that's fun. If I have another meeting, I'm gonna snap. Sixth in the division, 11, 11, and 1. Not ideal. We have another conversation here, because of course we do. What do you want from me? You're playing the Kraken, yeah, that's sick, cool. But did I ask? Yes, we get to ask again. Okay, if he turns me down, I swear... I'm going to throw every single game that you start me. It's going to be outrageous. So just say yes. It's that simple. Say yes to the dress. Very risky. Okay, well, don't you... You son of a... You know what? This might seem outrageous, but I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm simming way beyond when I normally do in these to ask for a trade again. It's tough to record a shutout in the NHL, Timothy, which is why it's impressive that you're one away from breaking the NHL rookie shutout record. Don't think I'm a rookie, but thanks, though. I swear this game is trying to piss me off on purpose. James will not shut his oral orifice. I'm getting meetings left, right, and center. I've about had it. I've never seen this many in my life. I have never seen this many meetings, James doing stuff. No, I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. I genuinely, I can't believe this. I'm being trolled. I'm actually being trolled. I haven't been able to simulate one day. One day! Oh my word. I'm actually in disbelief right now. I think I've had five meetings in one day. 
five. This game's doing a real good job at testing my patience. Why is there no skip James option on this screen? This coach really is about to feel my wrath. I simply cannot believe what is going down. Another, another promise. Here we go again. I'm asking and you better accept because this coach of yours has gotten on my last nerve. Oh my. Oh no, it does not end there. It does not end there. We are still going. If he refuses to trade me and we go past the trade deadline, I will simulate this whole year. I'll do it. Back to back days with Mitchell Marner meetings. Can't wait to speak to Coach Carl again. Oh yes. Just got over a meeting with my agent about some hockey gear brand and Coach Carl decides to step in. Incoming promise, team answer, which doesn't matter because no matter which one I give, it results in a promise. By the looks of it, I think we'll maybe have two more chances to get traded. But let's see what happens. Star answer, please let me... Yep, star again. Anything but a promise. I was gonna maybe record another Be A Pro today. I don't think that's a good idea. Cheeky little shutout W against the Washington Capitals. Don't mind if I do. Actually, I do mind because that just gives the owner even more reason to reject my trade. Let in some goals. How about? Please. Please say yes. Yep, okay, you, you're acting all cool and whatever. I don't believe it. How many years did we sign for again? Hopefully it was one. I doubt it was one though. Somehow we're first in the division. Oh no, we got bumped down to second. This might be my last chance. I, if I even get it. I don't know if I will get another shot. I have a strong chance at winning the Calder. In 2009, a goalie won the Calder. Who was that? Ah, yes. Steve Mason. Look at another persuasion success. Have him with the coach. Have him with Marner. Everybody except for the GM is buying in. Yeah, we're one day before the trade deadline. We still don't have another opportunity to speak with the GM. I believe we are trapped. Let's sim this game and see another shutout. Not a big deal. Also, was that a hat trick from Ratcliffe? Three stars? No, he only got two. Well, we're trapped here for the season now. I, do I want to be here? No, not really. Especially not because that stupid owner kept saying no. So yeah, this episode has been a slow descent into insanity. Here's the Edmonton Oilers lineup. Somehow we have 85 overall Patrick Kane with an X Factor a plethora of abilities. Defensively, we have Nurse, Pesci, Lilligren, Sanheim. We're actually good, you know? Like, I'm starting to think I should just run it this year, see if we can win the cup and then dip. Although I did say this will be the last year of the Goldie be a pro. Perhaps we'll squeeze out one more considering we simmed pretty much this entire year. I don't know. What I do know is I need to take a break from this game mode because I have had it. They've crossed the line today. Here is the line and they have crossed it. So anyways, hopefully, if nothing else, this video was entertaining. Because if so, then I consider that a job well done. But I promise you that none of this was put on for the video. I was actually holding back quite a bit. I would have gotten much angrier. <laughs> well anyways, thank you for watching this completely abnormal episode of the Goalie Be A Pro. I'll see you soon.